Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Lamborghini Grand Mode here today for part 46 ahead of the Brazilian Grand Prix our final sprint weekend of the season three races to go this is the grid ahead of the sprint race so we're on pole alongside our championship rival George Russell there is Hamilton and Esteban Ocon Piastri and Gasly, Alonso and Leclerc, Bottas and Joe, Sainz and Norris, Verstappen and Fittipaldi, Sonoda and Liam Lawson, Albon and Lance Stroll, De Vries and Sargent, Magnussen and Hauger are on the final row of the grid. Obviously no pit stops, we're going to start on the softs for the sprint. This though is our final run in qualifying to get pole position. We are fastest in all three sectors and hopefully we can convert that into a sprint win. So this is it then, the Brazil Sprint, five red lights. Come on, they go out and they're racing in Brazil for the sprint. We haven't got the best of starts, but George Russell has it down into the turn one. George Russell has the inside line and George Russell takes the lead off of us. We're down into P2. We desperately need to beat our championship arrival as we attempt to claw back some points in the Drivers' Championship. So we're going to send the dive bomb back down the inside at turn 4 to retake the lead of the Brazil Sprint. It was brief for George Russell. We had to make sure that was the case. And by the end of lap 2, on to lap 3, there's smoke in the background, we were pulling away. Whose engine's popped? It's George Russell's engine that has popped. And that is some very, very good news for us as George Russell pulls off and out of the Brazil Sprint. And now this is Piastri behind, going way to where we've got as he lost out to another start. Side by side, Piastri tries to go round the outside. It's about off and lights up the rear tyres and spins round the turn one. Everyone's now sat there on the exit of turn one, queuing up like a, like they are at Tesco's. And now Ocon sat there and has brought out the red flag that has wiped out our lead. This is a replay then of what happened. Ocon on the inside and it's just lit up. The rears at turn one and then everyone just decides to sit there and realising that they can't turn the steering wheel and go around him. This is Lewis Hamilton's point of view as he just stops behind Piastri and now everyone else just stop in as well. You can see there bringing out the red flag then. So back onto the softs, it's now going to reset everything, George is out, so the fiber lights come back on then to restart the Brazil Sprint. We're racing once more in Brazil, as we get a good start. Piastri now has got past Esteban Ocon, it's a Lamborghini 1-2, as we go through the center S's, and now round the center S, down towards turn 4. Can we get away from Piastri? Can we win this sprint? We won it last season. Can we make it back to back sprint wins in Brazil? As that is what exactly happened. We pulled away from our teammates and we are going to win the sprint. So that's been the sprint win, back to back wins in the sprint here in Brazil for us, two years on the trot. It's going to be a 1-2 for us then tomorrow, Piastri coming home for P2, Joe coming home for P3 for McLaren. But in terms of the championship, that is a very, very, very big 8 points. Okay mate, only three races left and you've still got a chance at the title, but if we're going to win it, we're going to need some very special performances in every one of those three. And it starts here. Let's see what you can do today. So for once, Mark is absolutely bang on. We do need something big from this race here today. We won both the sprint and the race last time out in Brazil. And we did win the championship that day as well. That won't happen this time out. 
this season. But the aim is just to get the gap down and keep it alive as we're racing. Here in Brazil, it's been a sensational start by Lando Norris. He's gone all the way up to P2 and he's behind us. Our teammate Piastri has gone backwards but most importantly we keep the lead of the Grand Prix at the start. Lando Norris not having a run as he has the straight line speed. He's just too far back to have a go at us. Into turn 4. Ocon now is P3. This is a replay then of the start. Oscar Piastri going absolutely nowhere. Being mugged at the start there. Dropping back was at 2-3 and if he loses out to Joel on his right, no he doesn't. He's lost out three places there. And now this is Lando Norris's epic start. Done 2, done 3 and he's up into P4, into P2. Great start by Lando there. And now this is George Russell's start from Stone Dead Last. He's gone absolutely nowhere and watches them all disappear down towards turn one and that's the worst scenario for him he's got a very very long day ahead of him but now we skip on to lap four and we were just keeping Lando Norris at jabbing distance Jersey outside the DRS we were trying to push he just kept keeping himself in it as Piastri has found some rhythm to go around the outside of Ocon. Ocon fends him off. He needs to get this job done. Also, both Mercedes down at the back. The constructors would help him help us out if he can get past Ocon. Down the inside into the centre S's. Piastri takes P3. Lando Norris now is getting closer and closer to it and on lap 8 he pulls out to the inside of turn 4 but he's too far back and has to back out of that one lap 9 now though I think our tyres are starting to drop off a bit Lando tries to go around the outside but he forces him a long way around he backs out of it but Lando now all over the back of us then from nowhere I think Lando kind of had his burst as we were trying to look after the tyres and he has dropped way way down we finally found our rhythm we're now two seconds up the road as we carry on on to lap 16 and Lando Norris is heading for the pits our McLaren trying to undercut us here two seconds is a big gap even for the undercut, so he might be alright. He goes on to the mediums, so we're obviously copying, it, we're copying his strategy as well. We're going on to the mediums, but I really wanted to go further. But let's see where he comes out, Lando. I mean, I'm probably going to have to cover this off, but he is going to come out behind George Russell. But. He should have some tyre advantage there to get past George as Mark Townsend's rain is on the way. And I really did want to keep going on the soft tyres to get to the point where it, rain, where it was going to rain but it was just too far away and the tyres were shot. So the end of lap 16 could be a very critical moment if Piastri follows us in. Where is Lando Norris? Is his undercut going to work or are we going to stay in front in this Grand Prix? We come out then, we may have just kept held up Piastri, but Lando Norris through the centre S's takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Our two second gap to him behind means nothing now as Lando, the undercut of, it, of dreams then what about that for the amount of time he's gained on that lap that we stayed out but he can't find a way past large stroll he's really holding him up we've gone purple in the middle center and what's that allowed us to do is close back up to the McLaren that big 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 advantage 
that Lando Norris and McLaren had made for themselves is being cut very much in half by Lance Stroll. Finally though, down into turn one, Lando Norris gets the job done. So now it's critical that we follow him through and get past the Aston Martin as quickly and as physically as possible. We have the DRS down into turn four. We're going for the dive bomb, it has to be done. We force the throw so, so hard there. Nearly off the track, nearly contact, but we had to take the risk. We couldn't get London get away. But we've really got the pace on this McLaren now. We're all over the back of our former Brit. As now we get closer and closer as we head towards turn one and towards lap 21 of the race. We're going to go to the outside of Lando Norris. We're trying to go round the outside of turn one. Lando's forcing us a long way round. We take the lead off the Grand Prix, but that's put us off line. Now heading down into turn four, Lando has got the chance to get past us again. And he really takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Down into turn four, he locks up. He locks up his tyre and he hands us the lead. What a battle this has been then. The Lando cracking under the pressure and we have pulled out now nearly a five second gap, 4.2 seconds. We are flying on these mediums as there is the rain that Mark is telling us about telling us about earlier on the rain has arrived these conditions are making the line a bit greasy but we're still nowhere near the changeover point with just eight laps to go is this going to get to a point where it is time for the inters if you fit back to mexico it rained for most of the race before we even got to the intermediate tires as now we were just continuing to pull on London Norris as we started to get our way through the lapped cars but now it was really really struggling it was very very close to the inters now but if we could get the gap out to Lando we'd be handy because then we would have that option but five laps to go four once we cross the line this time behind though this is Fernando Alonso and his engine has popped Fernando Alonso's engine has popped on the pit straight and he's been hit he's been hit by Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton's hit the back of Max Verstappen now as well that is a big crash on the main straight he's brought out the safety car in the process and what was just a, an engine blowing out for Fernando Alonso has ended up in a two car pilot big Big crash. How is it Fernando Alonso not got more damage to his Aston Martin? Right, we're no longer sure that these tyres are the right ones. It might be time to come in and change. Mark said his time for the Inters. I was thinking the same, but the why risk it? There's, There's no not that many laps to go. Limit. And I think the gap of around 10 seconds that we had wouldn't have been enough to get in and out ahead of Lando. And it's very much looking like this race is finishing me under the safety car. And as we come to the end of lap 36, that's exactly what is going to happen. The safety car will peel off. And we, on lap 36, on a okay, very, very wet track, is going to head head the, the drivers up to towards the line to make it back to back wins in Brazil and the double over the weekend once more. Oh superb driving that is the race win my friends well done and with that we wrap up another incredible Grand Prix weekend what do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. 
I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of the race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So that's been the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's back-to-back -back wins in Brazil for us now and the back-to-back -back doubles as well if you want to count the sprint and the race. Of course, that won us the title last season. Hasn't done it this season. It's definitely helped us out. Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri rounding out the podium. Piastri kind of just lost a lot of time, held up with the Alpine, especially of Ocon, and just didn't have the pace to catch up to me and Lando in the end. George Russell good race from him managed to get his way up into p9 but down at the back then Verstappen Hamilton it's been a pretty poor day for Mercedes only picking up two points in the end this is the drivers championship then and we have taken the lead of the drivers world championships by one single point how we've managed to do that because after the lights of Monza when we was on for a good result but tired I really thought that was the final nail in the coffin also Qatar as well but we've found a way once more to try and defend this title down at the back though there's still many drivers still yet to score including both Harters and both the Alfa Tauris along with Enzo Fittipaldi the gap also in the constructors has been massively cut down after Mercedes only picking up two points for points the gap now two teams still yet to score then in AlphaTauri and Haas so that's been your Brazilian Grand Prix I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed this video also the sprint race as well we now lead the driver's championship somehow we've found a way but we the job's not done yet there's still two races to go this season next time out though the penultimate race we go to a very late european race where we head to portimao to portugal but until then goodbye